Hey, do you need to learn how to build lots of features without doing the work? Coming up. Hey, Tyler back with Tech Nespresso, helping you design and build faster with the Fusion platform. Today, we're covering how to do patterns, how to save yourself some time and get more done. Before we get into it, be sure to hit the subscribe button Hit that like button if you like these videos. Make a comment, ask a question. I know it seems small, but that helps me grow this channel. And if you hated the video, <laughs> let me know why. Appreciate it. So you've made a model and you need to put 15 more features in just like the first one, 15 more holes like the first one. Do you go in and do it manually? Do you go in and copy paste? Maybe, sometimes you might want to, depending on the complexity of, but if there's a pattern to it, that's the giveaway, <laughs> use the pattern tool. So let's check out this pattern thing. All right, so here I have a rotor from a previous example, and what I'd like to do is pattern that circle. Um, I'm gonna make sure that circle's where I want it. I'm gonna make sure that it's dimensioned properly. There we go. Looks good. Actually, the spacing's a little better. There, that's better. That's what I intended. There we go. So it looks good. How do I create more of these holes on the fly faster, get them done with a pattern? Pretty easy to do. I'll do a create pattern. Is this one circular or rectangular? Hopefully that's really obvious, but it is circular. You select, are you doing faces? Faces are a little bit trickier to solve, so you almost always want to be doing features or components or bodies. Features more often. I select the feature. I select the axis. And I'm just selecting this cylindrical hole. I actually don't have to go in and create a new axis. I can just select that cylinder. So here we are. I've got three preview holes because I have a quantity of three. And I have some compute options. We'll get into that in a little bit. OK, so if I put in 10, put in 10 in that box, does that mean there's 10 new holes or 10 total? Let's count them up. 10. So 10, this number pertains to the total count that's being created. And there we go. Okay, so some of these options, I'm going to, I'm going to oversimplify it here. Optimized is the fastest. Identical is right in the middle. Adjust is the slowest. Now, why does that matter? But Basically, the rule of thumb, use optimized or identical whenever you can, and if it's not solving it right, then use the adjust solution. Okay, I want to create something like this grate or this plate. How do I do that? First thing I do, I create the rectangular plate, and then I slap in a hole, and I actually throw on some fillets to round out the features like I meant to. Now, I want to create a pattern. That's under create. Choose pattern. This time it's a rectangular pattern. And the object that I'm patterning is two things. I'm patterning a cut and the fillet that I select or created earlier. I select both and then I need to give it some directions. And here's where it gets interesting. Are you going two directions? Are you going up and down? Are you going left and right? Are you doing both? In my case I want both so I'll select direction and pick an edge. And I'll even drag it over just so I mentally can see where it's headed. And then I'm going to hold the Command key down on my Mac or Control and select this other line. So I should have two different uh, directions. First, spacing. Do I want to measure out the total length of the pattern or do I want to do center to center? Again. The number includes the total, so I'm going to go, for, I would like 10 holes, and I'd like 8 holes, and I need to adjust my distance until everything looks correct. Mm. 
that's looking pretty good. So as I put in my numbers that drive the distance from each object and then each direction, and I'll hit, be sure to look at my compute options. Again, what I mentioned before, this is starting to really matter for us. You want to use optimize in this case as long as it solves. It does solve and it's fast. So if you're doing something crazy like 150 holes, you need to be using Optimize. Otherwise, it's going to be cranking for a long time. OK, so as I play with the feature, I play with the dimensions, I can get this dialed in just how I want it. OK, so an important thing. Now, you did all the holes. Now, what if the two center holes or the four in the middle were incorrect? What if you don't want those? Do you have to go back and fill them in? Do you have to do an extrude and just kind of like fill that back in with putty or something? No, it's pretty easy. You go in to edit the feature and you simply select the ones that you don't want and hit OK. It resolves and those are removed from the solve. One thing to keep in mind with patterns, as you start approaching hundreds, thousands of these things, you need to start thinking about other ways to solve your model. An example is a knurl on a handlebar. Get that question a lot with CAD is how do I put this knurl, this cool knurl on this, on this shape, on this grip, on this cylinder? And you start bumping into problems there. That's where you start looking at decals. You start looking at ways that you can kind of cheat because it's, it's so time intensive to create that that you probably are more, you're more concerned about an aesthetic than you are about the model having that shape. Now, if it's something that's crucial to the design and to the print, then maybe that's, there's no way around it. You have to solve it. But those are the things that I've seen beginners struggle with when it comes to patterning. Be sure to check out the beginner series on Fusion 360. I've got that link down in the description below. And be sure to hit that subscribe, hit that like button, post a comment. I appreciate it. And see you in the next video.